Hi guys, so today I'm going to attempt to um, show you guys how I paint a skin tone. I say attempt because I'm using a... Um, yeah, I'm filming this, so it's a bit more difficult to focus on the actual painting aspect. But what you want to do is you want to take Cadium Flesh Tone from Games Workshop. Then... Just get a little paint on your brush, just like that. I'm using a dry brush. And... Then we're going to just scrape off the majority of it so it doesn't get too gloopy. Now we have Necker Chris Redfield here who is quite pale as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cover his face in a thin layer of Cadium Flesh Tone. And the reason why I'm uh, basically dry brushing it on is to avoid brush strokes and to make the paint as thin as possible. Did I even get that in the video? <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. I think I'm going to need one more layer to get even coverage. So do the same thing again. Just scrape off the majority of the paint. And let's just focus on the areas we missed. So as you can see now, he's quite orange looking, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take Cadian Flesh Tone again and we're going to mix it with, um, where is it? Ceramid White or Ceramid White? I have no idea how to pronounce this. Anyway, first just washing the brush really quickly so we don't contaminate the white. Also, since I'm basically just dry brushing it on, it dries up really quickly, so it doesn't really take all that long to start to be able to start working on it again. So what we're doing is just gonna take some white, spread it out on the palette, so to speak, and then we're going to take some of that Cadian flesh tone bollocks. And mix it with the white. Maybe just a tiny bit more. Ah! Uh, how do people do this? Now, once again, we wipe the brush and just get a little paint on the brush. This is going to turn out well because I can't see a bloody thing.
So that looks sort of alright. So I'm still not completely satisfied. So we're going to do one more layer of a slightly lighter dry brush. See if we can get a more natural skin tone. Because the previous one was still just a tiny bit too orange. And the best thing about this technique is that the paint is 100% flat. There are no brush strokes whatsoever. Try to be careful of the eyes, because the eyes are sort of well painted, so I want to keep at least um, the, um, the white. I'm going to go in and redo the eyes most likely, but like the um, actual pupils, but the white itself is pretty good. Sorry guys, I'm a horrible, horrible teacher. Right here, we're back, and I'm crapping myself, because... Now, I thought we could go over how to paint eyes. And since I'm doing this in front of a camera, it's going to be really difficult to be precise, but I'm going to try. Just trying to get, like, a bit of a point on the brush. Now we're going to paint black over the eye as well as possible to create an outline for the iris and I don't have nearly enough paint on my brush so much respect to all of you guys who paint stuff live just try to be as neat as possible Sometimes I find it easier to just turn the head upside down. Okay, in terms of size, that looks pretty good. There are some black there is some black bleeding over the edge, but I can go in and fix that later on. For the black paint, I'm using Abaddon Black by Games Workshop again. And we're back, because the bloody camera died! So what I've done now is I've basically tidied up the areas around the eyes. So I don't know how well you can see, but the eyes are pretty well painted at the moment. So now with the black done, uh, we want to go in and add just a tiny bit of brown, like a brown circle. So hopefully I don't muck this up. Just a tiny... Uh, crap. Don't really know how well that turned out. Okay, I think this one turned out a little bit better. This one, I got a little bit too much brown. I'm going to see if I can go in with a super thin brush and put some black on the left side here. Give me one sec while I do that. Sorry, I had to paint the iris off screen. It, um, it was just way too difficult to do that sort of really tiny detail work in front of a camera. Anyway, what I wanted to say was, even though you can barely see the brown now, it's it makes a huge difference that it's there, because if it's all black, then your figure just ends up looking completely soulless, and that tiny little amount of brown just helps give some life to it. Okay guys, so I'm super frustrated at this, but I was just going over how to um, paint 5 o'clock shadow, or stubble, or whatever you want to call it, and while I was doing that, my um, phone decided to stop recording. So not only did I leave a heavily requested part out of the video, but I also did the 5 o'clock shadow while constricted in front of the camera. So this is really frustrating. But as you can see, he's got very very slight 5 o'clock shadow. When you do it, you want to go for like a subtle effect, you don't want to go too heavy handed on because then it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like a beard. So just real, real subtle dry brushing. Okay, anyway, 
Um, with the head almost complete now, all we need to do is paint the lips. And lips sort of are really difficult in this scale, because if you go too red, it sort of looks like lipstick, but you, c you don't want to go too faint either. Like, natural lips are quite pink or red, or whatever you want to call it, but in action figure form, that just looks a bit off. It looks like lipstick. So, I'm gonna go for something more subtle. I'm, I'm gonna make it slightly more red, but it's still gonna... It's gonna be a very, very subtle effect. So, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna basically make the same skin tone we've been using for the figure, for the main figure, so... Well, the main skin tone, I mean. Sorry, I can't speak. I'm, uh, like, multitasking and I'm horrible at that. So, you wanna get some white, and then you want to get some of that KDM flesh tone again. Not too much. Then you want to get the tiniest, tiniest amount of red. Just like this. Very, very tiny amount of red. Because red makes quite a drastic change in the paint you've you just mixed. You see it's already really pink. So I'm gonna use just a tiny little bit more of KDM flesh tone. I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of water just to make the paint a little bit more manageable because it dries really quickly. Okay. Remember, we're going for subtlety here. Come on, camera. You see, even this is a bit too heavy-handed, even though we washed it out so much with um, the skin tone, so I'm probably going to add just a little bit more skin tone to that. But I'm going to do it off-camera. And there we go! Chris is finished! I did go back to redo a couple of things that bother me, like the eyebrows, but I hope this gave you some helpful tips. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. I hope you like the video!